So we're oh, yeah. sitting outside of Sally O'Brien's, the, the Monday night open mic with the, uh, the folks behind The Good Stuff. Uh, Friday nights at 10 o'clock at Motley. So you just had the, uh, the first edition of The Good Stuff yep. on Friday. Yeah. And how do you think that went? It was, uh, it was something. It was, uh, it was at, long. It was, it started late, it ran long. I didn't know what the hell we were doing. Uh, but I, it still seemed to work out, I It thought. was fun. I know it yeah. was a fun vibe, a loose atmosphere. No, was a, the looseness contributed to the loudness. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. What is the, the sort of free-for-all attitude, something you were looking to... to no, we wanted to... it planned and written and tight. Which is not very smart. Yeah, and we are lazy. <laughs> uh, the three laziest, dumbest comics in Boston. Yeah, Motley said, hey, Tom, do you want your own show? And I was like, yeah, but I don't want it to be stand-up. I want to do a talk show. And, uh, and so I was like, I need a sidekick. I'm going to do a talk show. So I got Sean Sullivan, best ever. And then I was like, every talk show has a, a killer announcer. And Dan Bulger, very charismatic. <laughs> <laughs> the voice behind the show. And, uh, and I wanted to do like, uh, have interesting guests and interviews and musical guests and weird stuff and chicks and... And strippers. Yeah, strippers. Yeah, stripper. Stripper. Exotic dancer. So how did that turn into what happened Friday? <laughs> you, you say, like, what happened Friday. I think, I think there was some kind of genocide that we were responsible for. It's one of those never forget. Uh, <laughs> 5, 14, 10, never forget. Yeah, they're making us do it every week. <laughs> so they're going to do a telethon on NBC next week for the victims of the first good stuff. <laughs> Tom Dustin. So you have some, some reoccurring spots like the, the, the comedy race. The is that going to race. be every week? Or yeah, is that it was actually Dan Bulger's oh, my idea. idea. Uh, what we do is we, we, we pit opposing races of comedians against each other in a, in a, in a contest ultimately to, to, de de to determine who the funniest race on the planet is. Last week Not we had Tom Dustin. Blacks versus whites Blacks was weird one. And who won? Uh, the blacks won. Blacks. Yeah, of course. Uh, better than everything. Yeah, Big right. upset. This week, uh, coming up this week, we have uh, Jews versus Germans. <laughs> gonna, gonna Gar Gary Gullman against Tim Kaler. Ah, oh, that's a uh, classic matchup. So, yeah, back there's some history to that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's why I, I chose Tim Kaler. <laughs> I wanted the Jews to win Balance one. It out. <laughs> the Jews to pull out. We got we have uh, we have gay versus straights coming up. Yep. The gay uh, race versus Irish straight versus race. Italian. Vegan versus meat eater. Yeah, I don't know how we're gonna get the meat eater. I don't know. That's not a race. How do you determine who's the most meat eater? Uh, whatever. It's just a gimmick. We're gonna do a special. It's gonna be fat versus skinny. I think you're the most meat eater. No, uh, it's gonna be fat versus skinny. With me and Tom are gonna hit off against each other, but we're gonna get teammates. That one's gonna tag be a tag style. Tagging in, tagging uh, out. It's gonna be epic. Uh, yeah. Just yeah. because of the number of people. And we get some guys. We get some fun stuff for this week's show. Yeah, we have a rapper, JDO. Oh yeah, yeah, Jake Daniels, JDO. He's with uh, New East Records. He um, cuts Tom's hair. He's also my barber. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, a lot of the guests on the show are people that will then, in turn, give Tom goods and or services. <laughs> That's why we had the stripper on the first show. And we do do live commercials on the show. So yeah. if anyone's interested in buying commercial space, uh, you get a month worth of sponsorship. Uh, this month is Aspen Roofing Services. They're fully licensed, insured, OSHA approved. The best and they, no, no job, can get. no job they can't handle. And this isn't an ad. For We're hey, just really excited to be even non-roofing. <laughs> yeah, they will come in. They'll do your floors. They also cut your hair. <laughs> also my barbers. Also my barbers. <laughs> so this whole show is just a way to test out different yeah, barbers definitely. for you. <laughs> right. I'm just trying to find. I need. I need someone to give me a good lineup. <laughs> it's a black person's haircut. Oh, okay. So that there are there also aren't that many late night shows around Boston, which There's this none. would be. Yeah. <laughs> This is it. This and, and very shortly, there'll be really none. Yeah, no. We, we have no they competition get, and are barely they succeeding. They're going to cancel this crap. <laughs> it is well, kind of cool that we don't have to go to Cheers to hang out on Friday nights. I wanted to do a thing where we weren't doing stand-up exactly, uh, and something different and variety, and, and give everyone an opportunity to submit ideas and sketch and video and interview stuff and 
Uh, a, a lot of the inspiration was taken from uh, the great and secret comedy show, the Walsh Brothers original show. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and I wanted to, I used to get this amazing feeling when they would do their show. Like something, we were all part of something amazing happening. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to try to recreate what they had and do it with my little twist. Hey, what's up, buddy? And, and have action. You want the creepers. <laughs> <laughs> So they're, they're, they're He's also, be on the show next week. <laughs> there are also a lot of comics just hanging out to see the show. Yeah, well, we're gonna we're, we're gonna try to keep that trend going because we're, we're doing a, a segment called "You Might Get On," uh, <laughs> and it, it's basically all the guys that would like to do a spot on the show. We're gonna put their names in a hat, make them draw. We'll draw a name, and that person will get to do stand up on the show. But they'll have to spin a prize wheel in order to tell them what kind of stand-up they can do. They might end up doing all crowd work. They might end up doing somebody else's act. They might end up, what were some of the other ideas with that? Uh, all black material. All black material. Uh, to pair that with in a segment called, comics, You Might Get Off. Their own act. Uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a, a lose a turn spot. Yeah. Where if you land on lose a turn, you're you don't off get to show. do anything. Mm. Well, what are the other kinds Most of guests of you're going to, to have in the, in the future? I know you've said that you wanted just a, a lot of, not yeah, necessarily all comedy. On, you wanted on uh, uh, the human knot. He's a guy. Contortionist. He's a contortionist. He can pass his whole body through a squash racket. Yep. Which is uh, and he allows you to throw darts at him. Yeah. Which is. I really thought that was two different guys. Oh well, well, maybe I'll it get is. That guy too it. This guy's really good. The guy that throws darts at is the guy that the that the, the steamies. Oh, that's, that's, that's a human. That's yeah, a human floor, and then there's a human knot and something else. Floor. But I want I want to do magicians. I want to do contortions. I want to do sword swallowers. I want to do fire eaters, but they won't let us. Do yeah, it. I don't think that would be allowed. Um, you said sword swallowers were like the kind of they like with the confidence of a car salesman, like. Well, charge. the only. The only problem I see with the sword wall is, is it's very low ceilings in there. Yeah. And it's disgusting. And we had a dagger I was thinking about doing a segment where we make people eat awful shit. Yeah. Well, that could be any right number now. of places in, in, in around Banyuwa Hall. Huh? They, they call it, they could be. No, I'll have Dan make us chili. Oh. <laughs> we don't want to go back to that controversy. <laughs> so, so, so where do people uh, uh, see the commercials that, that you tape there? Where do... Oh, uh, at the Good Stuff Live. Good Stuff Live. Live Friday night at 10 p.m. Oh. On this comedy club. Oh, were you, you were planning on taping those at one point and putting them on? Uh, no, I just give them a DVD of their commercial. I just got a lot of plans. It's today. a novelty. <laughs> This guy thinks we came out of the gate swinging. <laughs> we're idiot. really, if we really have we, not thought this out at all. We should uh, subtitle the show and talk half-assed, really half-assed. Uh, that wouldn't get people in. No, no, it's it's a real production, huge budget. We got a guy, Joe Piccarello, is probably doing the most amount of work. Yeah, uh, he writes most of the monologue jokes, and he does this. Uh, Cool video uh, computer bits and shit that we don't really understand because we're again not very smart. Oh, we're supposed to go on. I can't. My knee hurts. I'm not gonna. Oh, we're gonna switch legs. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna switch legs and do it. See, whole we thing. forgot to do that thing because I did that's it how we. Uh, that's, Physical that, that's humor how the will show also be runs. part of. We thought it would be funny. Uh -oh. But yes, yeah, there's so many comics in Boston that have all like come up with ideas. Hey, I want to do this. I got a video. I got a sketch idea. I got a segment idea. So everyone's really, and that's why. That's when I say I I, I, I got inspired from the Great Seek Comedy Show. That's that's what it was. That's what it felt like to me. It was all these guys kind of putting in and doing their own mm. thing. And and you, it was a venue to do the stuff that you couldn't do at a stand-up comedy club normally. Yeah. The goal is to have fun, and that's too often not the goal. Right. And where do, do people find out more about the show? Is it just at the Motley's website? I should or? probably get like a Facebook, Facebook or something. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. It's definitely on motleyscomedy.com. Motleyscomedy.com. Uh, M-O-T-T-L-E-Y-S. Anybody who's comedy. watching this video knows how to get to Motley's website. Wait. Oh, is this on Motley's people, website? People, people going to watch this? I don't know. <laughs> Well, not after this awful interview we did. <laughs> so if you want any indication of what the show is going to be like, just watch the previous ten minutes. Find the one joke. Hopefully it was good enough, and you'll come down and see us every Friday at 10 p.m. Friday night, 10 p.m. at Motley's Comedy. 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 Thanks, guys. Nerds.